Hi guys! In today's video, we are going to take a look at Michael Jackson's suspected This Is It tour announcement that was held in front of the A2 Arena in 2009. Before starting our video, consider subscribing to our channel and also hit the like button if you like our content. To support our channel, you can donate by clicking the thanks button below the video. In 2009, Michael was planning his final tour, which would take place in London and would have 50 shows starting in July 2009 and ending in 2010 and would be at the O2 Arena in London. During Michael's life, it was often rumored that he used numerous lookalikes for his public appearances or rehearsals. This happened when Michael Jackson was in London to announce and promote his This Is It tour that he would have later that year. In the months before and after Michael Jackson's sudden death in 2009, rumors ran rampant that body doubles were being used in an effort to disguise the king of pop's ailing health. Speculation over just how able he was to take the stage first surfaced in March 2009, with some speculating he was so far from ready, a body double was needed in his place. London welcomes the king of pop, Mr. Michael Jackson. About three months before his death, several spectators and critics started to question whether the jittery figure donning aviator shades and a sparkly jacket while appearing before the masses at the massive tour announcement inside London's O2 announcement press conference or an impersonator. A lot of people said, quote, it just didn't seem to be Michael. He was very thin, yet this Michael was stronger, had a bigger head and always wore a wig. This London version of Michael also had much bigger hands. A source connected to the Jackson family said, based on her personal knowledge of the entertainer. Interestingly, the wig that he wore for the announcement was sold at an auction later. Similar questions over Jackson's health and real identity raced across the internet, with many also suggesting that the awkward, almost macho stride of Jackson heading into the arena was a far cry from his normally soft-footed walk, and that even his chin looked off. In my opinion, the man in the clip isn't Michael Jackson. It's a man posing as Michael Jackson, the apparent body doubles walk is cockier and had more bounce than Angie's typical stride, explained Bianca Cobb, a senior instructor at the Body Language Institute. Michael had a less confident walk with smaller strides and less pep. He also tended to walk with his head down and deflected attention. The seemingly double spoke more confidently by projecting his voice more and was also a bit deeper. My, My final show performances in London. Michael tended to have a softer and lower tone of voice, which didn't project across the room. Would you please join us up here right now? Cobb also pointed out that Jackson had straighter teeth than what was evident during the conference, and the alleged double's chin, although containing a cleft, was overall more tapered, and that Michael's upper lip didn't elevate as much as the alleged double's upper lip at full smile. Another source, who worked closely with the star across his career, wasn't convinced it was him, but wasn't convinced it wasn't him either. Subsequently, there's a picture where a person whose face and facial expressions look very familiar to Michael is standing behind the curtain whilst the suspected double is announcing his upcoming shows. Nevertheless, 
When Michael was seen leaving his hotel the same day he had his announcement, his tour, he looked like the real Michael compared to the double. The other person or double appeared to be very different from Michael. There are inflections in his voice that sound true to me. His lower voice I have not heard and yet within them I recognize his voice. But this is not an easy call, the insider said. The walk is something I have never experienced. His lower voice I have not heard yet, so these things make me wonder. Officials at the arena, as well as the Jackson camp, vehemently denied that it was anybody but the real Michael and the real deal at that conference, and another source close to Jackson assured us it was him. There was a massive debate on internet sites about the much-hyped appearance of Jackson, and the stories are now snowballing into a big controversy. Speculation began even before the nervous-looking figure stepped through the scarlet silk curtains of the arena. No explanation was given for why he was more than 90 minutes late. Questions over his health circulated in the throng. The doubles or stand-ins were used in rehearsal footage we saw in This Is It, argued a Jackson insider. Look specifically at the performances of human nature and thriller in the film. There are others too. The lips are off with the words and the real person doing the dancing requires much too much effort. Mage was effortless and this stand-in was obviously good, but not Meiji good by any stretch. Meanwhile, tickets for Jackson's extended series of 50 Summer shows sold out in record time, with prices of up to a staggering £25,000 being demanded on the resale market. That was today's video, guys. If you liked our video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you wouldn't like to miss out any new content in the future, to support our channel, you can donate by clicking the thanks button below the video.